Here is my 1989 Hoover Turbomaster Electronic Model U5080. I got this off another collector called Phil and he was downsizing and moving to Scotland and he said he was selling a Turbomaster so I thought oh I'm having one of those and considering it was so local to me it was quite convenient for me to collect it so I bought it off him for £70 um, including the tool set which I think is a pretty good price to be honest considering the condition and how well the machine runs and everything works on it there's only one little bit of damage and I'll show you that um, in a few minutes so here it is um, as you can see it's in the original Cotswold beige and Cotswold beige shadow that it should be in you find a lot of these um, these days that are um, quite yellowed and sun bleached but this one must have been stored in the proper conditions for that not to happen so that's cool um, I did have two turbo masters prior to this one I had a blue soft bag version and I had an electronic total system which was exactly the same as this but it had the tools on board unlike this one so as you can see we've got a nice bumper that runs all the way around to the back on either side lovely Hoover Turbo Master lettering four position height adjustment so you got setting one which is carpet tiles and hard floors got setting two which is low pile setting three which is medium pile and setting four which is long pile setting three should be good for this thick carpet though headlight lens here so there's the headlight and above the headlight is a reflector we're here where it says hoover carpet selection and you notice there's numbers on it they sort of look sort of kind of all different colors there and basically the headlight shines um, up through this top panel here which is the reflector and it'll light up these numbers individually uh, depending on which height you've got it set at. As you see there's a little black plate moving just there and that's got like a little slot in it so it covers the rest of the numbers up apart from the one that the height's set on so the headlight will shine through this reflector and make it look really LED but um, it's it's just the headlight that causes that, there's no LED lights or anything but that's really cool, it's really futuristic and very 80s looking so on this side we've got the tool conversion so you push down at the back and you can put the hose in there for above floor cleaning on this side we've got the um, carpet and hard floor selector so when it's set on carpet and the handles reclined the brush roll is agitating the carpet and it's spinning and you set it on hard floor when the handle is reclined that stops the brush roll from spinning and a belt shifter moves the belt onto a free spinning pulley of course setting it back to carpet engages the belt back onto the brush roll and um, the brush roll also turns off when you um, stand the handle in the upright position so that's a little extra feature which you didn't see a lot on vacuums back in the 80s and the 90s you didn't have brush roll on off really on uprights so you've got exhaust vents there, or cooling vents Royal appointment there It says By appointment Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II Manufactured of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment Hoover Place, Merthyr Tydfil The Royal Crest there Moving further up the back door You can see the air freshener So it's got a large rose and a smaller rose And there's control here so when it's set at the larger rows, it's supposed to release more fragrance. Moving it more towards the smaller rows, it's supposed to release less fragrance, but I don't really think it makes that much of a difference, to be honest. Bag door release there. And this is the damaged part here. You see it was snapped off, so somebody has put a metal piece in there. So the bag door can still close. That would be how you access the air freshener. Um, I can't take it out right now because as you can see it's got these 
little pieces which are in the way. I have took this out when I cleaned it, but it was a right pain to do. So, anyway, got the maximum efficiency cleaning, sorry, maximum cleaning efficiency advice sticker there. It's got a H4 bag in it. Just pops out very easily. So, there's the Autoflex. This model has the card rewind, and it does work. Which is good. And there's the fill tube, which the bag connects to. And if you ever get a blockage in this, which is unlikely, to release the fill tube from the bellows down here, all you have to do is move up this lever and pull it out. Like that. So there's the bellows down there, a bit dirty. You see that PVC tube, which is connected to the fill tube, goes up to the um, control panel up here, which works the bag full indicator. So you just reposition that and just push it back into place. There we are. Pop that tube out the way there. Which it won't stay right now. It's easier doing these things with two hands, of course. Oh, whatever. It'll, it'll do for now. So, here's the bag. It's suitable for turbo power. Turbo Junior, Turbo Light, and Turbo Master cleaners. Just pushes back on. This is a reusable variant, but you could have got high filtration versions. This was a better design over the turbo power, where you could just take the door off completely rather than it hinging. Clicks back in place. So there's the control panel, as you can see. It's got bag check light, um, motor speed, so there's four LED lights in there, and a slide power control, so you've got minimum, which is fully variable, up to max. Of course, when you have it on minimum, there's only one light showing, and as you move it across to max, these lights come on, which looks very cool, especially in the dark. So, coming round to the back, there's the Auto Flex. As you can see, um, nothing much else to see on the back of the switch on the handle up there. Just a regular rocker switch. So, underneath, get a look. And not let this bang. There we go. So underneath we can see the activator brush roll, which has um, two rows of constant contact spiral brushes, and it has these beta pads, as you can see, which um, beat out embedded grit. These bristles are quite stiff as well, so they'd be good at picking up hairs and lint and things. So as you can see, it has um, very long splayed edge brushes which get right to the edge. Very good at edge cleaning these machines. Got undercarriage wheels there, that's the height adjustment wheels. And two large back wheels. And I believe that's all there is to say in it. Stand the thing up, right, there we go. Just unwind the card now. You get six meters of card, which isn't a lot, but back then, um, card lengths were quite sharp for some reason. So I'll plug it in here and I'll show you in action. Sorry about the mess, I've got junior motor input parts over there. Anyway, off we go. This is what's annoying about the Autoflex models, is the card all coils up. But you can live with that, I suppose. 
Right, so it's set on number three, and let's see if we can reactivate this carpet pile here. So, off we go. So there you go, so here's the tools, it does show the model I have on the box, the toolbox is a bit damaged but oh well. So here's the hose, so to attach it you push down on the back here and then slide the hose in. So let's just see if I can do this with one hand. This is going to be nigh on impossible. I can see already. Right, where well, there's a will, there's a way. There we go, nearly. That's it. So you just push it all the way in, and then it goes back down like that. So it's locked in place now. Oh, I'll show you the tool suction, which is actually pretty good on these. There you go. So the, with the tools you do get an extension wand, dusting brush, upholstery tool and crevice tool. And they just store neatly in that box. I do prefer the total systems which had the tools attached. I think they look more complete. But you know, it's nice just to have a Turbo Master back in my collection. Nice logo there on the handle, Hoover logo. So I'll show you the cord rewinding in. Hopefully it'll rewind in all at once because it's quite coiled up here. We can but try. Let's have a go. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. So there it is. Hoover Turbo Master Electronic. Model U5080, complete with tools. Love it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for any more videos in the near future.